All right, so you see this come up in forums quite often. The question is, how much lime do I use to water glass eggs? And the general consensus is, for every quart of water, you use one ounce of pickling lime. Now, a lot of people don't have scales, so they want to know, well, how much is one ounce of pickling lime if I measure it out? And we're going to get to the bottom of that. I already know what the answer is, but you don't. So what I'm going to do is I put a glass jar that used to hold my homemade chili seasoning. I had to go to a larger jar. It's empty. We're going to put it on my scale, and when I turn it on, that is going to zero the scale to that jar's weight. It's currently set to grams, so we're going to change it to ounces. I was pushing on the thing there, so we're going to change the unit to ounces. Now we are at zero ounces. So let me get my stand so I can measure this out, and I'll be right back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this up to one ounce. The easiest way I know is to just use a measuring spoon. I'm going to do tablespoons because that's probably the easiest for most people. They'll be le level tablespoons. So I'm using a butter knife to level it out as I measure it. There is one tablespoon. There is two. There is three. Four. Four tablespoons. It was actually up, to, there we go. So it's right at about four tablespoons. So if you're using Miss Wages pickling lime, like most people do, four tablespoons is one ounce. As always, hope you find this interesting. So the correct ratio is four tablespoons of four level tablespoons of Miss Wages pickling lime to every quart of water when you want to water glass eggs for long-term storage. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.